Right, a very important, often examined um, decision-making tool, this one. Let's have a look. Donald Trump, that hair suit um, magnate, he has got one of his investment properties up for sale. Now, what he can do, he could sell the place now, and he knows that he'll get... Uh, half a million return on sale price minus about 8,000 in costs, solicitors and agent fees etc. So if he sells his property now, he is going to make $492,000 net. Now keep that information at the back of your mind. Or, the same property and he could wait a year. Now, if he waits a year, he possibly could be able to get a five hundred and fifty thousand back from the sale price he thinks. So he thinks there's about a seventy percent chance that prices could increase in a year, increase by about fifty thousand. Uh, solicitor and agent costs will go up a little bit in a year, and they'll be ten thousand dollars. So if he waits a year, there's about a 70% likelihood with prices rising that he'll be able to net $540,000. So comparable, you got that $540, that possibility against the $490 at the moment. But remember, and importantly for the decision trees, they're based on probability. He's done his market analysis. He's very experienced in the property market. He believes if he waits a year, there's a 70% chance that prices will increase, but it's only a 70% chance, it's not for sure. There's a 20% chance that prices will remain stable, so if he waits a year, he'll um, still return $492,000 net. But there's also that small chance, a 10% chance, he believes that prices could actually decrease. So if he waits a year, prices will sink, possibly. There's a small chance that prices will decrease. And if that happens, he would expect to get 450000 net return on that. So here we are. The decision is to sell it now or wait a year. Sell it now or wait a year. If he sells it now, that 492 is in the bank. If he waits a year, it's likely that he will get a return on that profit, but he's not guaranteed. A smaller chance that prices will remain stable, and a very small chance that prices will actually decrease. Oh, what is Donald Trump to do? He's weighing the options of now against the different possible outcomes in the future. He's weighing up the options of now against different possible outcomes that could happen one year later. Now keep all this information in the back of your mind, right? These options in the future are based on likely or anticipated probabilities. So there's a 70% chance, a 0 0.70, that if he waits a year, his investment will return $540,000. There's a 20% chance it will return $492,000, and a 10% chance it will return $450,000. What does this all mean for decision trees? We need to be able to put this information in a decision tree to help us make a decision. Right, decision trees, it's all high level stuff. We're going to start with a decision node and come on later to a choice node. What's the decision? To sell the property now or wait one year? Right, two, one decision, sell now, sell in a year's time. Now we know we've looked at the figures, if we sell a property now, we're going to net $492,000. Now 
Now the choice notes outline the different options that are available to us. Right. There's the option that prices will increase and in this case they will return $378,000. I'll go into this in a second. Prices remain unchanged and prices will decrease. Okay. Now I know the question that is burning on your lips is where in the heck are these three figures in blue coming from? The 378,000, the 98.4,000, the 45,000. Now you remember each of the different pricing options that could happen were associated with the probability. So we had a 70% chances that prices would increase. And if prices went up, right, if prices did go up, um, the return would not be 492 anymore. The return would be 550,000. But there was only a 70% chance of that happening. So factoring in the probabilities, and remember decision trees are all about probabilities, the 550 return, um, well, actually it was 540,000 net, 540,000 net return. If we multiply 540,000 by 0 0.7, that's 70% probability of prices rising, 540,000 times 0.70, then we end up with the figure of $378,000. Right. With prices remaining unchanged, the return would be just as above, 492,000, but there was only a 20% chance of prices remaining unchanged. Only a 20% chance. So factoring in that probability, we have 492 times 0 0.2. And that's where we get our $98.4,000 from. Price is decreasing. There was a small chance here, only a 10% chance. If prices did decrease, the net we were looking at was $450,000. $450,000 times 0 .0, 0, no sorry, times 0 0.1 would our results in 45,000. So the different options with the different probabilities factored in, we get 378,000, 98.4 and 45. Now from a choice node, we add up all of these likely outcomes. Um, we total that, we get $521.4,000. We compare that to the other decision of selling the property now, which comes out at $492,000. Which decision should we make? The one with the greatest return. 